So let's talk about Power Outage. What is Power Outage? Well, it's a tabletop role-playing game for kids, uh, but it's still really fun for adults. Uh, it allows kids to be heroes, and it has a lot of unique characteristics that specifically uh, speak to children. To start off, the mechanics are pretty simplified. There are five main attributes, power, impact, Omer, which is basically armor, and uh, yield points. And I say yield points and not hit points because in power outage there is no death. And uh, last one is travel, your ability to get around. The book includes a lot of information. Uh, it has the instructions, how to level up. It's got an example of a character sheet which you can download um, from the site for free. Um, the big part about power outage is that the adventures are built as uh, modular uh, events um, and we use a cape system to kind of plan and design uh, adventures. So that's combat, alternative, puzzle, exploration. Um, for every combat there's an alternative option in case you want to have a game that has no combat in it whatsoever. Um, or you can mix and match or add both. It basically becomes a choose-your-own-adventure style of game. The uh, What else does it have? It has unique powers. The cool thing about the powers is that they have no real information about what they do. They are just generic descriptors of what happens so that you can flavor them to whatever you want. So if I am doing 1d6 damage to an adjacent enemy and pushing them back, it doesn't matter if I'm doing that with firepower or if I'm shooting laser beams at them or using a psychic, you know, not concussive force thing. Um, the powers are there and the kids allow to, are allowed to attach the powers to whatever kind of uh, flavor that they want. Um, so you have your combat powers, you have your utility powers, and then you have your supportive powers. That means that there are also no real classes in the game. You basically pick whatever powers you want, and then that kind of allows you to roll into whatever kind of character you want. Um, the world of Power Outage is included in the book. It's got history and lore on the five different locations. Uh, those locations are Shore Eye City, Otomnia Zavad, The Sink, The Overgrowth, and Seward's Refuge. Each one allows you to play a unique thematic type of game. So Shore Eye City might be kind of like a fun, futuristic world. The Atomnia Zavad might be kind of like dark and gritty and noir. Seward's Refuge is actually, uh, it's, it's a military base. So it also has like a large kind of suburban kind of feel to it. it gives you a little bit of those, um, you know, X-Files feels. Um, the sink uh, is a uh, mixture of um, piracy and adventure and exploration. And um, the overgrowth is a large sentient forest filled with all sorts of fantastical creatures, um, great for fantasy worlds. There's also potential for expansion and uh, a bunch of information on each section. You get like roll tables, you know, little... Uh, little things that can happen in each one. Each one has a description of the villains and the heroes that are attached to it. Uh, then next you got a ton of villains. And I'm talking about at least when each major villain uh, appears in two different forms and then each villain has 10 henchlings. So you've got about 120 villains to pick and play from that you can add. Uh, great heroes like Agent Orangutan, um, uh, let's see here, Undead Hartax, sorry. Uh, let's see here, uh, the Boat Rocker, Swagnito, um, and then even the the um, the henchmen are, are pretty great. Like saplings, Douglas Fours, coming to Fours. Um, the next part is great, it is Guidance. Uh, guidance for uh, gaming with kids. Um, that's great for new DMs and even veteran DMs um, playing with kids alike. Um, gives you differentiation guidelines um, so that you can play with kids that are varying ages uh, while still having everybody contrib to contribute to the same narrative. It also has accessibility accommodations, information for, uh, you know, just some small guidance on how you can provide 
more accessible, create more accessible, more accessible gaming um, tables, and it splits the into kind of like a symptomatic approach of um, of providing accommodations for physical, communicative, receptive, uh, behavioral, cognitive, and emotional needs. Um, there's uh, guidance on how to create your own games. Of course, there are adventures um, for the game, and that is included at the end of the book. So you have a bunch of adventures. You have a whole, uh, sorry, you have one adventure with five sessions. Um, and then the kind of fun thing here is if you actually turn the book over, there is a uh, secret section just for kids, which introduces a comic book that basically gives them the, the, the very basics of how to play the game and what the powers mean and whatnot. Um, so there you go. And of course, you have the Hero's Pledge. So, Power Outage. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Bye.